Cardi B stuff because Cardi B just had a baby. Oh my goodness. Cardi B has given birth to culture Kiari uh, Cephas. I bet you know your name. for you all boys in our so Cardi B now offset. Wow. Today. Congratulate her. You know, a lot of people don't like her because she was in prison before and all of that. But Charlie, you judge a book by its cover. For all you know, Cardi B will go to heaven and you still be here because you judge. Good evening and welcome. It is Fresh Juice. My name is Movi the Motivator. That's what people prefer to call me. But my real name is Movi Hayford. Make sure you're following me on social media, on Facebook. It is Movi Hayford on Twitter at Movi H. On Instagram at Movi Movi. I'm excited to be on your screens this afternoon. You know why? We are going to gossip a little bit. You love it, don't you? Don't front. Today, you know, you gossip at one point in our lives. And I'm a watching, I ain't gossip with that. Nah, you g Get out of my studio, she don't belong. <laughs> Newton. Ah, Chale, we all gossip. We, a little bit of it is not harmful. It's healthy, you know, but make sure that you are not going extra, you know, lengths to make the person's life miserable. That is where I have a problem with it. When you gossip, you learn something from it, and then you advise. That's what we do. So make sure that you're catching us every single weekday at 4.30 p.m. on Joy Prime Course, where we real entertainment. We are just real entertainment. We are just real entertainment. How many times did I say that? Three. So you better get on with it, okay? It's at Joy Prime Official on IG and Facebook, on Twitter at Real Joy Prime. Today I have guests passing through and I'm excited about that. In fact, I wish I could do a twirl for you and do a dance because, oh, these two guys are upcoming, but they are going to create a media firestorm. Believe me on that. Well, we're taking a short break, but remember the show is proudly brought to you by Colleen Professional Makeup. Makeup, <laughs> make history. And welcome back. Now you do know, today, BBO Bessibiano Oyin Ofi Multimedia. Tomorrow, the Joy Beauty and Bridal Fair is taking off. Yes, it's tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Accra International Conference Center. I'm excited about it because, you know, it's all our presenters at Joy FM who are going to, you know, give you a cartwalk performance. I'm telling you, it's going to be exciting. And this is what you should look forward to. And I personally think that, you know, Sarkodie and Tracy should go to the Joy FM Bridal Fair. You know why? Because they're getting married on the 17th of July. Congratulations. Yeah, it should have been a long time ago. That's just what I think. I knew they belonged together, you know? All the side chicks. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, so I'm a I don't want know. But what are you wasting your time for? Sarkodie and Tracy, Charlie. <laughs> pillar of hope for marriages you know they've done well 10 years together and they're now tying the knot hmm interesting well we wish them the very best and many many more decades in good marriage you know anyway so um my next headline i don't even know how let me choose my words properly because i don't want to say something horrible you know what i'm, I'm just gonna zip it because I'm not one to talk about, you know, people who uh, are doing things that are not right. Because here's a story on Ifiapimpolo. This is not my first time working with him. I've worked with him in so many projects. And I'm, I was so happy to hear that he was on this. Even after you knew what had happened? Sure, sure. Um, what, whatever happened was just 
for showbiz, as I said. And I know he understands me very well. And he knows whatever I said out there is not true. So you saw he's not bothered. It's not true, it's and it's not you, true. You've called him privately to do an apology before. No, I've not called him. If he will say the truth, I've never called him or Feda Mugi. You understand? Because it's not good to talk about such issues on phone. It's good to meet a person personal so that you look into the person's eye to say whatever you feel. And truth, how you talk to the person will let the person know how deep sorry you are. So that's me. So you planned it that today when you meet him, you're going to apologize? I didn't plan it. My manager is here. He knows it. We didn't talk about this. But for me to see him here, I felt bad. I nearly cried. You see, because he has really helped me. He actually brought me in the industry. We've done a whole lot, even commercials. Vico Mods, I was the first person to do the commercial for them. And it was him. You understand? So whatever I did, was no good. It wasn't right. So I have to apologize. And I'm a young girl. He's far older than me. Oh my God! Okay, no comments is all I'm going to say. No comments. Show up as celebrities when you be in simple show. Let's just zip it and watch. But I, I was quite disappointed, um, you know, about something that happened today. I'm not going to say exactly when. I'll tell you some, at some point in the show. But right now, the phone lines have been activated. So call me. It's 030 698 and 699. Those two lines are active now. So from Poncho, ring, ring. <laughs> call me. Let's discuss the juice that's on the table. And obviously, juice that is, um, you know, flying in the air, wherever it is, we will get it. But Cardi B just had a baby. If you didn't hear me say that in the beginning, Cardi B, the rapper, some, someone asked me, who, who is she? It, it didn't even say, who is she? Who is Cardi B? Who, who's that guy? I hear it's a rapper. <laughs> Cardi B turned man. Anyway, you need to get, you know, into what's going on so that you can have conversations, like interesting conversations with your new dates, your boyfriend and girlfriend, your husband and wife, Charlie, because sometimes the things that are happening are not juicy enough. This is why you should wash fresh juice. 4.30 p.m. every single day. Anyway, many thanks to Sammy. Yes, the producer, director of Fresh Juice. And um, we got Gifty on the line. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Moby. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I've been trying calling, but you, 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 you couldn't get my call. Oh, I'm so glad you got me finally. Uh, I'm calling from East Legon. Nice one. What's happening there? Oh, nothing much. I just called to say you're looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Don't let me do my share home things because it's not nice. <laughs> but tell me, which of the juice you want to talk about? Oh, I only want to... Um, there's a news ahead and I want to talk about... It. Okay. Uh, about Satamiki. She's feeling bad of her, her people sorting her of her flat boat and she feeling bad about that. That was a long time ago. Oh, but they are still talking about it. Oh, really? They should leave her. She has implants now, so they are very perky and, and nice. Um, no, I have to say, she says, 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 have you have you heard of the Kolebu issue? Yeah. Okay. What do you have to say about it? Do you think well, Kes is right to insult those politicians? It, okay, not insult, yeah. curse. He said that God should kill all of them. Yeah, he's not right to insult the 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 president or the ministers. It's not right. Although they are trying their best to do something about it, so you don't have to insult them. If you have to say something about it, you don't have to insult them. Yeah. I agree. Thank you so much. Della is also on standby. Are you with us now, Della? Yes, hello. Hello! How are you? Good evening. Good evening, darling. How are you? I'm good. Fantastic. So which of the uh, juice do you want to sip on? Sack on I just want to sip on the juice. Uncle Sack. Okay. And Daisy. Nice one. Thank you so and, much. And God bless them. Amen. Okay, so 0302 and 699. Call us. Um, Jessica is on the line. Hello, Moby. Hi. You're looking great today. Thank you. 
Well, you've got me now, so let's use our time wisely. Yeah? What do you got to tell me? For your maso mi amedo, for your canina. I want to say that the juice birthday of our Saturday's birthday. I want to wish you a happy birthday. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay, right. Okay, so Sak, I hope your birthday was amazing. Well, we're taking a short break when we come back. Yes, more juice, but I'd like to thank Double Chris Collection for my top. I'd like to thank Susanna Creator, my stylist. And yeah, I did my own makeup today, so let me flaunt it a little bit. You like? <laughs> Hi. Yo, Burke. Some snake. I'll be a man, you'll be my woman. Cause you don't be physically approaching from my highly spiritual. If I see you, then I see my daylight. If you leave me, go about a fair fight. I no go do you, Johnny. Yo. So, baby, put down for me. Yo. If I hurt you, I'm sorry. Yo. Forgive me, make me daytime. Independent lady, which I run a maid. I will save you from Becket to Levy. Independent lady, which I run a maid. I will save you from Becket to Levy. So I'll be a man, you'll be my woman. I said, I'm a visit, you're approaching from my head. I'll be a man, you'll be my woman. I said, I'm a visit, you're approaching from my head. Oh, <laughs> me do you. Aside this one, I go sing you blues. But I be so me move. Cause even at random, me be you I go choose. I no go give you assurance with a car. But ah, so that's cool. a good song right there, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Obviously, you know who it is. One of the most sensational musicians I've come across in a very long time. I'm telling you, this guy is going to bring the Grammy. Like, I'm telling you. Amen. Talent. Talent. And I'm talking about Yao Berg. Welcome to the show, dude. How you doing? I'm cool. You look, you look cool. Yeah. Like, do you look this cool every time? I'm dressing as please. Really? What, you put a lot of effort into it? Yeah. Why? Why? Is it very classy. Yeah. Who's your stylist? Glinks. High fashion by Glinks. I see. Yeah, he's been Which doing this been? since hip maker, back to back. Always making me look that Wow. How long yeah. have you been doing this though? Okay, so I've been a musician for like, let's say, seven years, but then professionally wow. started like last two years. Mm -hmm. I say three years now and we're here. Who's your favorite, um, you know, hip life artist? Hip life artist. I know, see Kel's song. I love girl songs. I love Why is that? Is it because your friends? Oh, no, because of that, but the guy is good. It's because your friends? No, nah, not that. No? He has good songs out there. He sings a lot. And good performances from him back to back. So I was there, I like Kel's songs. Apart from myself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but definitely. is that the only genre you want to, you know, do? No. Music, you know, music is, I mean, everywhere. It's so big that when you get some kind of audience to it, make you do some kind of music too. So when, I mean, the passion comes like, you should do this, Jenna, mm -hmm. you just hit it there. When you want to do this one too, you feel like doing it, you just But do which it. genre do you think you don't see yourself doing? Hey, mm, you be serious, we got gospel or what you do? Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm signed to you. And for the past genre? Oh, no, that one they don't do. Because I think for the past genre, I mean, there's so much, you know. Defenses, you know, like looking at me and Patapa, no, I don't think I can fit myself in Patapa. You can't do as of more music. No, 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 I can't do that. Why? I better not go there, but okay. I don't need that one. <laughs> well, we have a video to show you, so enjoy it when we come back. Another but, surprise. Yeah. Highly spiritual. As I they walk from my house, I meet this beautiful lady. A bag fine pass with Rihanna. I walk 
adapt to her can we make a wonderful baby would you give me your give me your give me your give me your number in the end tonight i swear no be two by two and baby i go stand by you your love they make out to go crazy yeah. i know go be the truth baby i promise i go keep your love and be your king i know go be the truth baby yo. i know go be the truth baby yo. Ah, so in love, man. I'm in love already. Mr. Drew, right here in the studios, man. Give me that. Yeah. What up? What up? I'm good. I'm good. You? Wow. Awesome, awesome music right there. Mm. Like, Kewa, mm. highly spiritual. Chale, you are doing things. So I'm telling you, these two are going to take over. Big time. Are, are you planning a takeover or? Uh, it's not like we are actually <laughs> planning, but we have it in progress. Whoa, we're that's a threat to y'all. Oh. <laughs> that's a big threat. Yeah, 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 yeah. But tell me, man, give me love. Yeah. You wrote it yourself? Yeah, with the help of my brother, my mm. other label mates, and then Kewa as well. It's a brilliant song. Yeah, you should pay them when, when you, you know, hit that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a family thing. Wow. So we do I know. But tell me, what, what is your artistic process when you are writing songs, when you are in the booth? Is that something you do to get inspiration, to get motivated to record? Um, I think it's the people around me. Mm. Yeah, and that's my label mate. We are always like there's somebody always there to help you, you know, right? So to push you, Charlie, record, Charlie, pull in more emotions, pull in more energy. So we help each other. That's it. So we, it's are, a we are our own motivation. Motivation. Hey, so. okay. Try to steal my name, but I don't know. <laughs> but help me. It's like a brotherhood. Then. Yeah. Wow. We have a sister too. So you have a Rachel. sister. Rachel mm. Blue. She's okay. part of the label. Wow. So, yeah, okay, it. so a lot of people say a lot of musicians are into, you know, occultism uh -huh. and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, Illuminati yeah. signs yeah. and all those things are happening. Uh, do you guys believe it? Are you living it? Or <laughs> what exactly is the story there? Uh, I think it, uh, it exists, but um, we aren't doing that at all. Okay. We're actually very religious when it oh. comes to, like we are actually christians we no christians. but i know because freemason guys who too. are religious okay. they go to church yeah, okay <laughs> <laughs> what the powers yeah, oh yeah, i see yeah. okay but do you know that they exist in ghana they definitely really do. okay they really do well. i still have a friend mm -hmm. whose account got hacked because he was being forced to join and then they hacked his account they are that powerful yeah in ghana here yeah are you sure the person? I'm serious, and then they 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 actually posted six six six. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, you're yeah, not that yeah. close, are you? Should, should I start <laughs> stop backing up right highly now? Spiritual. But highly tell me, spiritual. yeah, highly spiritual man. Yeah. What what exactly does it stand for? What does it represent? Um, we look up to God, Jesus. So oh. yeah, so basically, we are saying that there's a, a supernatural being up there who's taking care of everything that we do. Can I join? Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, everybody can. Everybody oh my can. goodness, I'm in love with it already. Yeah. But um, how has it been though? Treatment at your label? Because you know, we hear a lot of stories. Artists yeah. come yeah. out, some seem ungrateful even yeah, because yeah, they yeah. don't appreciate what, you know, their manager I does think, for them. I um, think ungratefulness will come from um, where you started from. Okay. Ungratefulness leaves within the heart. Wow. I don't think it's what you, you go about or because there's always a process. And there's someone who is with you right now is even helping you, you understand? Me being here wasn't by my own self. Wow. So that person, you need to really regard the person. But if you're ungrateful, <laughs> I think it's in your heart. Oh my it's gosh, so I, I think I've been I've been bought already. <laughs> yeah. I've bought into this KYP Charlie. You <laughs> guys are mature, for <laughs> real. Or did they train you? Oh, I no. I see your managers <laughs> sitting here oh, and all of that. No. <laughs> they trained you. They know about <laughs> Bianca. Wow. Really, yeah. that's great. But what, what do you think you can do to change the game? The game. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think, I mean, since, you know, um, the predecessors of mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm, yeah. they are kind of songs 
came and then it made waves, but then we, the new generation, are trying to, you know, put Ghana on a different level, like right. with Afrobeat, because right now Afrobeat is recognized mm -hmm. when you go to the international market. Yeah. So I think right now, and look at Ghana too, the young ones are doing the Afrobeat far mm -hmm. better than. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to do. We're okay. also adding up to what's being done already. Yeah. Right. Mm. Now, a lot of people like to, you know, um, I don't know, compare Nigerians to Ghanaians. I, I don't want to compare. I think I'm a lover of, I don't know whether I'm so patriotic that, you okay. know, I get blinded mm. by it. 